Is it okay if I tell a little story? Is that all right? At the end of May, two years ago, I got a call from my brother, my oldest brother, I have three, in the United States, and he said that uh, our mother only had a few days to live, so we had to get to the United States the next day, which is hard to do when you have a two-month-old girl who doesn't have a passport. So the American consulate was amazing. They got us a passport, and the next day, we're on a plane with my daughter. Actually, she rode inside the plane, and that's what she looked like. That's the actual picture. And she slept the whole way, thankfully. And we made the long trip to the west coast of the United States to a place called Seaside, Oregon. And immediately, we went to my mother's bedside. And the reason we wanted to rush to get there was we wanted our, our daughter, we have a son now, but we wanted our daughter to, to meet her grandmother and for her, the grandmother to meet her Japanese uh, granddaughter. And so I don't know, because of the visual here, how well you can see it. You can see it a little bit, but I don't know the first time my mother smiled. Maybe she was four months or three months old, but this was the last time she smiled. And it, you can't see it because of the mask, but you can see the smile because the smile, of course, is in the eyes. And she didn't smile after that, in, in spite of my efforts at bad comedy, as you can see. Um, I couldn't get her to smile, but that was the last time she smiled, which was an amazing experience. She passed away shortly after that by my side with me holding her hand. And it's been two years now, so our daughter is older. But at least we had that connection. So afterwards, uh, after her death, I became really interested in pictures. We have thousands of pictures from her past. Uh, this is in the 90s at Hard Rock Cafe in, in Osaka. I look so 90s. And then <laughs> looking at old photos um, from closer to the time before she passed, but then I found a lot of photos from a 1962 uh, July 4th celebration. And I knew that, you know, she was, everyone said she's such a beautiful person. Uh, and I knew that, but as a kid, you don't really appreciate it because I didn't know her so well when she was, before I was born. <laughs> so I love looking at these pictures. And something was kind of missing. So my brother found all these film, eight millimeter film. Do you know what that is? Raise your hand if you know what eight millimeter film. Two old people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's really amazing stuff, actually. And I'd never seen these. So imagine, so here's my mother on her wedding day, and, if, and I'd seen photos like this, and it, it's amazing to, to see that in color, and that's one picture. But if it's 24 pictures a second, it changes everything. And suddenly I'm, I'm trans, transplanted here. I can actually experience it. And the pictures made me feel sad when I look at them, or, or a little bit happy. But the pictures didn't make me cry, and this did. Of course, photo, photography is extremely important and powerful, but, you know, this made me cry, and it made me laugh. As you can see, my father, 15 years before I was born, joking around, should he kiss dad, too? Do you do that? On the mouth? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. My father was kind of a jokester. Okay. So I realized then that this old chestnut, which I'd heard before, that death ends a life, not a relationship, is really true, and I believed that before, but when I see the film, you know, motion picture, today we call video, it's extremely powerful, so I became very curious, and I found the only 30 minutes of me on film um, before my grandmother died, and she owned the camera, so there was no more film after that. This is me on my first birthday. People would dress up. Look at my mother. What happened? People would dress up, and here you can see, this is my, my three brothers. This is uh, coming up is my... My grandmother, this is my grandmother. She looks like the Queen of England. <laughs> oh, hello! What is that? For my birthday. That's respect for a child. Anyway, just watching these, even though, you know, it's sort of in between crying and laughter. Here's my brother. Believe it or not, he's an engineer today as he's trying to wear a box on his... <laughs> the engineer. Always messing with stuff. I never had much of an engineering mind. That's me. Uh, I quickly gave it up. I really love sports, as you can see, even back when I was a toddler. And I'm not much better at sports even today, as you can see. But. So I, I heard this before. I didn't make this, this, this idea up, but I'd heard this someplace, that motion pictures are really like an emotion generator. So I didn't, but I regret that I didn't take enough 
before my mother died. But many years ago, when I published my first book, I made sure that I had a dedication to my mom and dad. And I put a photo of my mother and father. And this is me showing, or my mother looking at that photo yeah, in a book you, for the first that's time. That's you. Yeah, it's the largest island in the And she was very happy. And through the magic of film, we can pass somewhat 60 years or so. It's really an amazing emotional thing, and we, we can use it. So I call this the, the projector here is kind of an emotion machine, and it brings a lot of, you can show evidence and support and proof, but you can connect with people also to a deeper level. Now, Rich Gold, in the year 2000, around the year 2000, he said that presentations today in this millennium will be somewhere between meta PowerPoint and massive performance art. And I don't know if we're there yet, but it's really changed since the 80s and the 90s when we used to just bore people all the time. And Ted has played a huge part of that. So we call these, this style the short form presentation style, and it's extremely powerful medium. So I invite you, whether it's an Ignite event or a Pecha Kucha event or a Ted event, to embrace multimedia and to embrace storytelling as a, an effective means of communicating and connecting with your audience. Thank you.